Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbick. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. As is usual at this time of year, I have forgone the usual daily charts and instead I have concentrated on giving a longer term view using weekly, monthly, even yearly charts, but rarely using daily charts. Now, if you'd like to discuss any of these charts, I'd only be too happy to take your call. So without any further delay, let me introduce today's longer term chart. Today I'll be looking long term at cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. I've repeated the following in my annual reviews of cable for many years now, and I quote, I've written for many years how the long term bearish shift pitchfork from 2007 to 2014 has been running this pair, end of quote. However, at the end of last year, I saw a unique combination of features that ended this uninterrupted run lower. In December 2020, the market pierced and closed over the upper time of the long-term bearish shift pitchfork, whilst at the same time making a second consecutive close over the key 50% Fibonacci line of the 2016 to 2020 move at 132.11, and also over all the moving averages. This last one was the first time we had seen closes over all the moving averages since July 2017. The subsequent follow-on higher started slowly in January 2021 with a higher but indecisive spinning top before moving more purposefully higher in February. However, prices moving higher ran afoul of the same overhead congestion between 143.50 and 146.50 that kept the market back in early to mid-2018. This congestion goes back years, at least until the turn of the century, but we can see its effects were apparent even at lower levels of the way prices double topped over February to June. And have ended headed lower since. Now, it hasn't been a straight run lower, more like two steps down followed by one step up, which December 2021 is the latest step up. However, this move lower is now getting interesting as prices are now testing the key supports of both the three and five year rising moving averages, currently at 131.51 and 131.55 respectively, as well as the key, well, same key 50% Fibonacci line at 132.11 that was breached up and over this time last year. On a larger scale, much like Euro dollar, we have the possibility here for the action from 2016 to date to be a cat's ears pattern but in an earlier phase of construction than the one in Euro dollar. Now below the moving averages, we have the key 50% Fibonacci line of the 2017 to 2020 move at 128.91 and the remnants of the broken lower time before we can look at the idea of a proper cat's ears pattern. But it is still there as a partially constructed idea. You would need to break above that congestion overhead between 143.50 and 146.5 to negate this idea and maybe, just maybe, turn this into a possible large double bottom. It seems unlikely now as the cat's ears looks the more dominant idea, but I still feel obliged to mention it. <laughs> 